I'm Hovey Smith. I am the principal of a new project, which is to be a book, screenplay, and ultimately a movie, Father of the Grooms. And I was recently in Sicily, and I was looking for props and other things to use in conjunction with the movie. Now, in the plot of the movie, there are two guys who are being brought over to Sicily for a wedding, but they don't know it yet. In fact, they think they're going to meet some nice Sicilian girls after having problems securing their own brides here in the United States. Their mafia relatives, unfortunately, take this much more seriously. Uh, they consider this to be an arranged marriage and a contract. And so the American family arrives for what they think is a tour, as well as a visit to an island that they have never seen for three generations. But they arrive on Monday, and they are informed that the wedding has, will be on Friday. And our grooms are somewhat surprised by this. And they sort of won't out, but uh, things get more difficult. Well, in the American fashion, the American family decides, well, if it's going to happen, we'll do what we can do. And they proceed to go around the island and look for some wedding presents uh, suitable for the occasion. And among the things they find are these two heads. Uh, these are made of ceramic. Uh, they are seen all over Sicily. And what they represent is a Sicilian tale about how a Moorish ruler took, in a cardinal way, a Christian lady. And they had an affair while he was otherwise married. Uh, this was considered uh, beyond the pale by both the Christian and the Islamic societies. And both were killed and beheaded. And hence, you see the two heads uh, decorated with crowns and other things, including uh, actually cacti sometimes. And uh, so they think this would be fine gifts for the new brides. Uh, they also think would be fine gifts. These cooking outfits with aprons and topes. And so they uh, get them a couple of those, of course, and they're going to give them some cooking knives. Uh, these happen to be my own from Hovey's Knives of China, my own original designs, but they will uh, find some of Sicilian origin. Now, for the guys uh, looking around in the stores, uh, we found, indeed, some wedding outfits. Uh, these are quite formal. And I would assume they used about the same thing uh, in 2004 as you see in the stores today. There were also these cute little outfits for the young guys. Now, I have a widow, and she is still in mourning, but she wants to look attractive, so she will buy something like this to wear on the occasion of the wedding. She is a very dire person, and if you say it's bright and sunny today, she'll say, But it will rain the Lord. Yeah. And for the brides, we have wedding gowns, of course. And these get to be quite expensive uh, in the nature of euros. Uh, oh, uh, hundreds uh, to thousands of euros. And interestingly enough, wedding cake decorations. Now, you will note here something unusual, that children appear on the decorations. This is because weddings in Sicily are very expensive. Uh, they commonly run 10, 12, 25,000 euros uh, without very much problem. So by the time the couple can afford to be married, they may already have small children, which occur on the wedding ceremony with them. So that's what we have right here. Now, for our particular wedding, you see this bride. Well, I guess it's going to happen, uh, whatever that expression is. And we will use something like that on our wedding cake decorations. Uh, minus, of course, a small child, since uh, in our plot, uh, there have been no children conceived as of yet, although that is the ultimate expectation of this union. Now, in Sicily, uh, I went to several museums. What I was particularly looking for was a peculiar kind of knife that's going to be used by one of my characters, Luigi the Claw. 
who, as a young guy, uh, fought against the Germans in World War II and lost his left hand, hence the name The Claw. And he picks up a knife pattern from the ancient Sicily, uh, who created vessels like this, and during the late Bronze Age, designed a knife with a flame-shaped blade that the Greeks banned from production as a terror weapon something that no civilized society would use in combat, they said. Well, this was mainly because they didn't invent it, of course. But at any rate, after the Sicilii were practically extinguished and absorbed, etc., 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 that knife was no longer made. So I was looking for that knife, and I looked in three national museums, and I couldn't find one. Well, the fact is the graves have been robbed by each successive civilization that passed through, including our own. So consequently, um, there are very few, if any, left. So we know it only from the Greek description. Now, the item that's dark in the center is a Greek helmet. And this is one of the larger vases, which is, of course, very, very valuable indeed. Now, whilst I was there, uh, I had a shirt made. I gave the order, at least, and it looks lot, something like the one that the guy is wearing here with a distinctive white collar and cuffs. Uh, this shirt, however, uh, wasn't finished by the time I left, and I hoped to receive it momentarily if it hadn't been held up in customs or something like that. Uh, but you can get things like that done. Uh, this white collar and cuffs was typical of Italian shirts for a period of, oh, almost 80 years. So, yeah, I want to go back to that. Now, this is a collection of objects that I got. Now, the plate up at the left-hand corner is a wild boars, of course. Now, that one originated in Bavaria, but we're going to have one of our guys go on a boar hunt. Now, I'm going to make some small homages to the Godfather series of movies, but it'll not be copied from them. But we may visit some of the same places. I needed to pick up an Italian dictionary, which I did not have for common words and phrases. I also have a book of cards, of course, such as tourists would pick up. And in the center, you see an outline of Sicily done in olive wood. And that is a spectacular piece of wood. And it's from that wood I would actually make the knife handles. And smaller is a small stud, a tie pin, that has the modern flag of Sicily on it. Beside it is a bottle of grappa. Well, one of my characters is an Irish priest who was transplanted to the island to help bring peace to the warring factions. And he couldn't get his Guinness, but he became somewhat fond of grappa, uh, which everybody knows who's ever been to Italy or Sicily. Now, our guide, Placido, gave us a cookbook, which was in English. And I cooked one of the recipes, and in fact, you can see it on Facebook. And we also picked up some condiments. Uh, there are some dry tomatoes, which I used, and also some Sicilian salts. Now, about the outfit itself, the hat and the caftan, one of the characters in the movie is a gay hairdresser uncle who plays a considerable part with said father Flanagan in hopes of getting this wedding called off without them all getting killed. Because if they refuse two of the fairest flowers of Sicily, uh, this whole family is not going to make it out of Sicily alive. Uh, they will meet with an unfortunate accident, as it turns out, or at least uh, that is very definitely and definitively stated. So this wedding, unexpected though it may be, is still going to happen on Friday. Now, our character who wears this outfit is going to do some very unusual things. And one of the things he is going to do is in the ear of Dionysus, which is a ancient quarry in Syracuse. And he is going to sing a lament. And this particular lament is going to be for the Sicilians who left the island and were never heard of again. Uh, millions left. They went all over the world, including the U.S., but not only did they wind up in places like New York and Chicago and Las Vegas, but they also wound up in large numbers in the southeastern U.S. and particularly Louisiana. 
and there they were worked sugarcane. Now, uh, several generations passed. Uh, our American family goes back to reconnect with their roots and find some unexpected events, as you have heard. And in this reverberating cave, uh, our gay hairdresser uncle is going to sing this lament. Now, it has not been written yet. So if you're a songwriter and you can think of a suitable lament uh, to celebrate the lost lives of those Sicilians who left with great hopes and expectations but never saw them realized in, in the manner of Danny Boy, actually, uh, yeah, I'd be very interested in hearing about such a thing. The book, Father of the Grooms, will be written in about a year. The book's chapters will be available to subscribers as they are written, and the soft cover is going to be shipped as soon as it's available. The screenplay will be produced the following year, and the movie probably in about 2024. Now, subscribers are invited to comment on the project at fatherofthegrooms.net. Now, during the next 30 days, you can support the Kickstarter project with a $20 donation and receive project updates and the book chapters. As the project progresses during the years, I'm going to need actors and others associated with the production of the movie, uh, some in the United States as well as more in Sicily. There will need to be music written for the movie, as well as a painting, The Death of Archimedes, done with classical pigments, as well as wardrobe experts, etc., etc., etc. Those who participate will have first options for the cast calls. This is an ideal way for young actors and artists to get started with a major motion picture. Goodbye, God bless, and see you in the movies!